The film takes place in the early 80s. There's such great wardrobe going on. I particularly took note, Army, of the kind of big flowy shirts that you have, and of course the short shorts. Yep. What was each of your favorite piece of wardrobe? It's funny, man. When we had our first wardrobe fitting, uh, they said, oh, here, here are your shorts. And so, so I put them on, and I remember looking down and going, where's the rest of them? <laughs> and then, uh, and honest to God, by the end of the movie, I went home. I definitely stole a bunch of shorts from the movie, but I went home and I put on a pair of my own shorts and I was like, oh, what's this fabric by my knees? Like, this is, oh, I feel so constricted. Uh, I have a lovely story about the shorts, but maybe not enough. Let's just say they were too short. Like, like, oh. yeah, yeah. And then some digital intervention Ew. has to help. <laughs> yes. Timothy? So I have, I have a very difficult time finding sunglasses that fit my face, and there were a perfect fitting pair of sunglasses in this film. Also, all the Lacoste shirts I wear, they are directly from the closet of our producer, Momo, who was there a second ago. Oh, there, there he is, okay, oh. yeah. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. Sounds fun. All right, later. My obsession in life is 80s new wave music, so when Psychedelic Furs Love My Way came on, in this huge scene with everybody dancing, I was just euphoric. I hated filming that scene. <laughs> hated. I mean, not hated. That's a strong word. But it's funny. Like as a six foot five guy, if you're out on the dance floor and everybody else is dancing, like oh, I'm just letting go. I'm having such a good time. But at six foot five, you're kind of flailing and the whole thing. And then you look up and you realize everyone's kind of looking at you because you're the tall guy on the dance floor. And then when we were shooting the scene, we shot it in a club at night. You know the whole thing. And we had a bunch of background artists there and all that. And I mean, it was like they would start the song and then kind of like turn the volume down and all that. So now I'm dancing to like no music and I'm looking around and there's like 70 people all looking at me and I'm just like, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> that, that was probably the most uncomfortable that I think I was on the entire shoot.